Soul Calibur is a weapon based 3D fighting game with a healthy amount of colourful characters that just won't show you any mercy. Your words will earn you no mercy. No mercy! No mercy! Scream! No mercy! No mercy! Honestly though, the characters on this game have very fleshed out personalities, along with the voice work of a few big voice acting names such as Chris Redfield. My victory was destined. Such is your fate. Almost every male protagonist in anything ever. Hmm? What's wrong? Femship. Not bad. And... No, no that's, that's about it. How's the gameplay, Derekus? Well, Mascot Chan is pretty friggin' good. The pace of the fighting is at a moderate pace, faster than Tekken or Injustice Gods Among Us, but not as fast paced as Capcom fires like Marvel or Street Fighter 4. The combat is pretty deep despite Team So only having 8 months to make this game before Nanko demanded its release so the dev team could work on Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And oh boy, what a fantastic game that turned out to be. <laughs> this meant a lot of things were left out from previous Soul Calibur titles. That upset a lot of veterans, but at least there's one thing we can agree on. Thank shit, Talim is gone. What an awful character. <laughs> the story in this game is decent. The focus is on Yosuke Hanum, I mean Patroclus, a Malfested hating whiny little shit trying to find his sister Pyrrha, who was taken away as a baby by the eternally young Malfested and downright nutty teen, Tira. Then some shit happens, Paddy is a new world of Soul Calibur stops being a whiny shit, then Pyrrha, driven through fear and loneliness, gets to be the bearer of Soul Edge. That's all sad, boo hoo hoo. But then it's happy in the end, and the whole way through you have to deal with Patty and Pyrrha's creepy, near incestuous relationship. I wish I could have heard you say my name just one last time. Could be worse though. By far my favourite thing in this game is the creation. This little feature would give you hours of fun. You can recolor costumes of regular characters, give them a custom outfit, you can make your own original character, which most of the time turns out to be a waifu, and you can recreate characters from your favourite games and shows. If you're a real funny guy, you can make a joke costume. <laughs> Look at this one, some comedic genius made a thing with horse legs, a pink afro, and a giant penis. <laughs> Not fucking fu Here's a good joke costume. Super Tropolis. It's a session of justice is suited to that of superheroes. Comedic perfection. Heck, even something as simple as googly eyes is funny than fucking horseman McAfro tits. Fucking over here. Ten out of ten. It's okay. <laughs>